Hello and welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a super delicious version of homemade baklava. Let's get started. Like always, I will leave the entire recipe in the description box down below. For the sweet part of the recipe, you gonna need sugar. Also, you gonna need water and rose water. I love this brand. I'm gonna link it down in the description box. Also, you're gonna need rose buds, lemon, and you're gonna need a pinch of salt. Next, we're gonna need yufka teig. Very, very important. Otherwise, you need to make it yourself. And then we need to have oil and butter. You can take any kind of nuts you like. I love the walnuts and the pistachios. This is it. Let's get to work. So the first step is to put your stove on a high. Next, you're going to add your water, your sugar, your pinch of salt, a pinch of the rose water, lemon slice, the rose buds, and give everything a good stir and let it sim. Your syrup is boiling. Just put the heat down and let it sim for a while. Since I'm a Persian, I add a little bit of cardamom to this recipe because I love it. Next, we're gonna melt our butter and we're gonna chop our walnuts. Mom is helping me here with chopping because she just is an angel. Can't deny. Once your butter is melted, add the oil and then let it cool down. Next, it's time to preheat the oven on 200 degrees. Now it's time to build up our baklava. So for that, we're going to need a baking tray and baking paper. Just put your baking paper into your trays and then start adding some butter on the bottom. There you go, like shown in the video. Just always be generous with the butter here. That is super important when making baklava. Next, we're gonna just kind of like spread it around that everything is kind of covered with the butter. And then we are starting to put like a bottom layer of this yufka dough. So it's important to have like 15 to 20 of these layers. So we're gonna just start by adding the butter like shown and then adding the yufka and then again adding some butter. And this we're gonna repeat till we have a thick nice foundation for the baklava. Once you build the foundation, it's time to add the nuts. So don't be greedy with the butter, just add a lot of it and then add your nuts on top of it. And then just repeat, add your yufka and then again add the butter and then add some nuts. Really, there is no right and wrong. You can also add two layers of yufka and then add the nuts again. Important is that you always kind of cover it with the butter so that it's not dry and it's kind of sticking together. Also, you can just alternate. Sometimes you can take pistachios and sometimes you can mix it up with the walnuts and sometimes you just take the walnuts. It doesn't really matter as long as you just add always the butter, the yufka and then the nuts. And once all your ingredients are kind of like getting empty it's time to just start with the top layer which is again yufka this time we take a couple layers and then we're gonna cut them and then we're gonna add again yes butter you 
make sure every corner of the yufka is kind of like touching the butter this is very important so that you have like an evenly brown nice cooked baklava Now it's time to add the last part of the yufka and then press it down, make it stick to the others and then just start to cut it the way I show it in the video. You can obviously cut it the way you like, but I think this looks pretty cute. So you start by going diagonal. You also could start by going through the middle part and then just going outside like you start cutting in the middle and then you you put the cuts next to each other but you also can just start at the corner and then just go all the way down it doesn't really matter as long as you kind of like look at the distance keep like one to two centimeter in between each line and everything will look amazing Now, when cutting through the yufka, you got to be very, very gentle because yufka is drying out super fast. Like it is tearing apart like nothing else. Like I have no other dough that I know is tearing apart so fast. So make sure you are pretty gentle and be patient and press it down and not be too fast. It will tear up and it doesn't look good, specifically not when you want to have that layer as decoration. Now again, it's time for butter. Guys, if your result looks like this, I'm super, 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 super happy for you. It will just bake and look wonderful. Now make sure you add the butter. And now when you kind of like try to spread it, do not touch it too much with your spoon because you will just rip apart the yufka. It is so sensitive. This dough is really, really sensitive. I just repeat myself because I want you guys to have beautiful looking baklava. Yes, for this recipe, we need a ton of butter and oil because it's delicious and because it's traditional. And this recipe just lives from this kind of butter content and syrup content. So this is just a real, real treat and we're not going to be greedy with the goodies. It's time to put our baklava on 180 degrees and bake it about 40 minutes depending on your oven. Voila, this is where magic happened, guys. Look at this color. This is beautiful, epic. Like, I love it. I wish you could just smell the kitchen. It smelled so rich and amazing, like so decadent. So much flavor and butter in the air. I love it. Now, once you cool it a little bit down, you're going to add the syrup. Make sure it's still warm because then all the layers gonna soak up the syrup. It's just beautiful. I wish now you could smell it because now it's also smelling like cardamom and rose water and fresh lemon. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this delicious baklava. It's time for the last step. We're gonna start decorating our baklava and I'm gonna take pistachios and actually two kinds of them. I have here the powder, just grounded it. And I also have like the green ones. I just love these green pistachios, the extra green ones. They're like young and raw and just cut it in little splits. This color is epic. I just don't know anything else that looks that beautiful on baking stuff, like on baking goods. Just leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Guys, don't forget to check out the next video, which is going to be the baklava ice cream coming up soon and also baklava cheesecake Swiss roll. I can't get enough of baklava and now it's time to try this version.
گو بچه این شیرینی خیلی خوشمزه سعی کنین درست کنین نازنین اینو یک جوری درست کرده راحته درست کردنش برای همه مویسره فکر نکنید که چیزی سختیه فقط این ویدیو رو نگاه کنید ببینید که چقدر آسانه یک هم حوصله میخواد قشنگ و دقت میخواد Beautiful. Guys, everybody can do that. Just watch the video and enjoy making your own baklava. Stay tuned and have a beautiful, beautiful time with baking. Guys, it's time. We are going to try this delicious baklava that we just made last night. Look at this. It just looks amazing, amazing. And guys, I wish you could smell it. It smells like butter and rose water and a little bit of cardamom. It's just super, super, super delicious and rich. So mom is also here and we are going to start and try it together. Let's get started. Guys, look who's here. Hello, mom. Hello. How are you? Danke schön, gut. Sehr schön. Bist du aufgeregt? Ja. Ja? Du magst Baklava? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Dann lass uns anfangen. This is my Lieblingssüßigkeit. Uh, oh, wirklich? Yeah. Oh, it's mom's favorite. So let's get started, mom. Okay. Here's your fork. Here. Yeah. And this here. Checklist, check, Julia. First of and all, how does it look? Yeah, this is very schön with the pistachios and all that drin. It looks and super wir, delicious. And we are ganz schön so... Oh, It has a lot of layers, a mm -hmm. lot of nuts, like a lot of walnuts. Okay. Okay, let's probably. Yeah. Oh, here you can hear the crunch. Sassinage it did. Wow, knusprig. It sounds very crunchy. Okay. Basse. Um, it looks juicy it though. Okay. They look really juicy. Are you actually good, mom? Hey. Are you gonna talk to each While it is close. Okay, mom. Are you oh, done? Wow. This is so good. Aus. Mm. So knusprig. It's so crunchy. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah. It's that same on one. Mm. It's the pistachios and the walnuts. She just loves it. Yes, yes, good. Very nice. We have a lot of layers down there, so we have an extra layer on the floor, like on the bottom, not on the floor. And she really loves it. Beautiful, mm -hmm. mom. Thank High five. You. Good job. Thank you so much. That's Time for me to try it. Oh, wonderful. And um, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So it's beautiful and delicious. Very mm -hmm. nice. Love it. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> That's was <very> lecker. <laughs> okay, guys. My time to try it. First of all, let me show you how crunchy it is. Can you hear it? That's amazing, like really nice. So when you dive in into this sweet deliciousness, it's just really fun. And I can't wait because it's gonna be really delicious. And now look at this. This is it. And... Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Really rich, delicious, amazing, beautiful, buttery, nice taste. It has this softness in it and it has this deliciousness in it. It has, it has all the things you kind of like expect from a baklava. It is soft, it is melting in your mouth. It has this nice little fragrance of a rose, a little bit of the lemon, tiny bit. And it has this pistachios, which are really fresh. And then the crunch of the walnuts, 
guys you're gonna love that love like i'm now a big fan of that unfortunately it's high 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 in calories so make sure you just eat one or two pieces indulge enjoy but don't overdo it have a beautiful beautiful evening thanks for watching see you soon guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end do not forget to hit the like button to hit the subscribe button and to come back next week on friday maybe saturday or even sunday maybe all of them because i'm gonna upload another amazing recipe video stay tuned isn't it wonderful that we all have more than enough to eat every day on our plates yes it is but unfortunately this is not the truth for many kids on this planet for less than 70 cents a day, you can share a meal with share a meal. Actually, three meals with one child. So let's make a difference. I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can follow it. It's so easy to share a meal. I'm so grateful that you helped me to make a difference. Thank you.